on the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Leo, for the present time, we got the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is very optimistic, very good card to see in a reading. Uh, it often comes with messages. Usually, these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Now, this Nine of Cups, it tells you that things are going well and that you're likely to be feeling charged up and ready to take action or ready for action. It means that good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart, is headed your way soon. It's coming in. Now, it's paired with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card in the tarot about reunions. It's reunion in the broadest sense is running back into or meeting with Meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. It's usually considered to be a really happy reunion. Very upbeat. As you can see, these three people, they're jumping up and they're toasting their champagne or wine in a cup. They're so happy, they don't even realize they're about to land into a lake. So, it's very upbeat, very positive reunion. This card can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating around a new, maybe a new baby, a wedding, or some happy occasion. Now, basically for the present time, Knight of Cups and Three of Cups, two beautiful cards in the tarot. Beautiful coming up for you in May. Now, I'm picking up that this is a past person. Someone from your past may want to reunite with you, a long lost love. And this person is coming in. You see how this man is on this fish? He's charging in really fast. That's what the knights, that's what they do. And um, this Knight of Cups is someone wanting to charge in and offer you their cup of love. Um, they want to be very romantic with you. and sensitive. That's what the Knight of Cups is. And because it's with the Three of Cups, it's going to be a very happy celebratory reunion. So like I said, I'm picking up that it's someone from your past. Okay? Now just a side note, if you're single, there's some single Leos out there listening and you get the Three of Cups, um, this card's most likely interpretation is that you will meet a likely love soon. This person will really fit the bill of the person that you've been looking for and that this person, um, they could be a new person or, or someone from the past. But um, this person will really fit the bill for you. So like I said, it's about, this card is about very happy coming together from someone that's been away for a long time. And they are bringing their cup of love. They're charging in. Now let's move on over. If you're with someone, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you like the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. It means that your financial worries, they're over, they're over for a while. Things in general, they will be going better for you than you thought possible. So try to enjoy this good energy and share, share it with um, others. So Nine of Pentacles is very good. So they see you as um, they enjoy you. They see you as very enjoyable, but paired with this two of swords. Now the two of swords it's showing that your partnerships they're likely to be going at least somewhat well. It could be a friendship, romantic business. Um, 
However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it's, it's about the time that you need to bring things back into balance when you get the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords, it could be about taking a good hard look at yourself to see if, any, if you have any outstanding emotional issues that, that need to be dealt with and then bring things back into balance. Also, the Two of Swords could mean that um, you're, you're ignoring some warning signs, you're blocking someone okay two two swords you're cut you're avoiding something okay that that possibly needs to be dealt with so your person sees you as they see you as enjoyable with the nine of pinnacles but they also see you as um you may block them a lot of times, or you avoid them. Is that what you do, Leo? Because that's what I'm picking up with the Two of Swords. Yeah. Sometimes they see you trying to make a difficult choice, and you avoid them at times. But they f find you enjoyable. Now, let's get some more clarity on this by reading the rest of this reading. We'll take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them as the devil, and you also see them as the five of wands. Now, the devil, with this card, just remember that no matter what your situation that you always have options to choose from first things first don't let other people tell you that your options are limited if you come to that conclusion be sure you come to it on your own regardless it will be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so you may be feeling that you're not in control of your life with this devil card showing up Sometimes this can happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of no action. So it's about taking action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, however small, of being in control. Even if it's merely making the choice on what you're going to have for dinner. The small steps are important too. Now this devil card is how you're seeing your person. You see them with some addictions. Some um, things you think they need to get rid of. Now let's clarify because it's with the five of wands which refers to competition. Usually it can be work, career, or romantic rivals. So don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer. You can be successful but you have to try to see results. Your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever when you get the Five of Wands. So make sure you hold your head up high. Have faith that you will end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking of making a career change, some type of change. Just know that you can be successful too. So you see them as bringing competition to this connection with a lot of devil energy okay you see them as possibly having um they could be dealing with more than one person so it, it brings a challenge to this connection it brings obstacles yeah and then on top of that there's some addictions so you two don't see eye to eye all the time there's a struggle for dominance here. So, with this, with all this competition, you see these five men about to battle each other with these wands. 
right below where it says you see them there are five men that's the five of wands so they bring a lot of challenges to this connection that's how you see them and you feel like you gotta fight fight just to win and then like I said on top of that this devil energy you see them carrying some situations or hang-ups that hold this connection back. Now, addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, um, heavy drinking, drugs, addictions that bring us down. So, that's how you see your person. Let's move on over. Let's take a, why don't we take a look at and see why this is happening. Now, why it's happening is because the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is about a turn for the better, particularly when it comes to money. When you hear the word Pentacles, that's coins, cash, finance, money. Turn for the better for you with the Six of Pentacles. It's one of the more positive Pentacle cards in the tarot. It speaks about equality, fairness, and the and the nature of life, yeah. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive time, not just a positive day, but a whole positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles. It's often a card about generosity, as you can see in the picture. Hope you can see it. This man, he's standing there and he's giving to two people that are in need, it looks like. So it's about generosity. And generosity, it means that either you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So it's about sharing what you have because there's always someone who needs it. And uh, that's the Six of Pentacles. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Now, let's clarify it, because that's kind of vague. We'll clarify it with the card below, which is the Page of Pentacles. It's a, it's a card about boredom in some ways. So you may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. When you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, that's a student, that's immaturity. So this page of Pentacles um, is about shaking things up for some fun and excitement. Rethink that impulse and find a better use of your energy. That's what you should do when you get this page of Pentacles. Um, the page of Pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you the focus and the backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So, looks like with this, uh, for why it's happening, the Six of Pentacles, things are turning for the better, but with this Page of Pentacles, the relationship may have lost some of, some of its luster. But it doesn't mean it's the end. It doesn't mean it's the end of the relationship. But it needs it. Uh, it means that action and discussion is necessary. A lot of talk is needed. So, overall for this reading, Leo, the present time we got somebody looks like someone from your past wants to come back. They want to come back to you, and it looks like. It looks like they did. I see you guys jumping up and I see you guys jumping up and down. It's a happy reunion. Okay. And you're either with this person or you're with someone else. Because someone sees you as this two of swords. And they also see you as the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this could be the person that you're with. Hmm. The person that you're with, like I said, they see you as enjoying 
this connection but you also want to block you want to block them or you're trying to avoid something okay and it could be because you see them bringing a lot of devil energy to this connection and you gotta fight all the time just to um, you, you gotta fight in this competition because they probably bring romantic rivals or a lot of competition with this Five of Wands. So that could be what you're trying to block out. Or you could be trying to block them. But it looks like it turns for the better. Um, yeah, because you got the Six of Pentacles for why it's happening. It's a turn for the better. Uh, it's a good relationship with the Six of Pentacles. Now, this could be that with the Two of Swords, you blocked out this the person that you're dealing with. You're avoiding them, and because they bring too much drama, they bring double energy, and they bring other people that you gotta fight. And it's a challenge for you just to. You, there's a struggle for dominance in this connection with this person. So maybe you just block them, you're avoiding them now, and you maybe you took to this past person. Because right now I'm, I'm seeing that um, you're in a good relationship. So it looks like you reconnected with this long lost love. And now you're in a good relationship. Yeah, something that's, um, because there's a turn for the better. So maybe you're giving this past person that just, that uh, came back to offer you their cup of love, you're giving them a chance and it feels really good. So it feels like things have turned for the better for you. You feel happy and the, balance, the uh, relationship feels very balanced and fair. So, it's with the Page of Pentacles, though. So, you feel like, um, yeah, you could be feeling like um, you're happy with this past person. You guys have reconnected. But, you might think they're a little bit immature. With the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you think they do things to shake things up or just to get a reaction from you. But it looks like you're in a happier situation though. But this past person you do have an issue with them. They, um, like I said, you might find them a little bit immature. Maybe they're just younger than you. But um, you guys celebrated with a really happy. It was a happy return, and you feel like you're in a better situation than you were with this person with addictions and bringing drama into this connection. Now, this Page of Pentacles is someone that you got to work with, though. You got to work with because it looks like they're probably younger than you. So, there's a little bit of immaturity there. So, 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 so.